We are delighted to have you join us for part 2 of the two-part series entitled Venerated Guru Padma Sambhava, Vegetarian, Tantric Master and Lotus-Born Divine Incarnate. Seeing me, all the Buddhas are seen. Accomplishing my practice, the practice of all the Buddhas is accomplished. For I am the embodiment of all the Sugatas, Guru Padma Sambhava, Venerated Guru Padma Sambhava, popularly known as Guru Rinpoche, the Precious One, was an 8th century Tantric master. Hailed as the second Buddha in the Himalayas, he established the Nyingma school of Buddhism, the first major school in Tibet. A fully enlightened being who descended as the Lotus One, Guru Padma Sambhava was not born and does not die. Fulfilling the completion of an exalted prediction, Guru Padma Sambhava was the holder of the secrets of all the Buddhas and the king of the deeds of indestructible wrath. In Bodhgaya, while exhibiting some of the exceptional signs of his realization, the Guru was challenged by an old lady to show proof of his teacher and lineage. When he answered that he had no teacher and there wasn't a need for one, he was ridiculed. After this incident, for the sake of showing latter generations the indispensability of having a master, the all-knowing, fully enlightened Padma Sambhava pretended to be a spiritual aspirant seeking out India's accomplished masters to gain the full and complete teachings of secret mantra. Padma Sambhava learned from various great masters. From Prabhasti, while ordained under the name of Shakya Senge, he studied the scriptures of Yoga Tantra, instantaneously comprehending the teachings as they were revealed. He also had visions of the 37 divinities of Yoga Tantra even before practicing them. His spiritual search took him next to the Nan Kung Mo and was given the secret name of Loden Chuks, meaning Super Knowledge Holder. Kung Mo empowered Padma Sambhava externally as Buddha Amitabha and internally as the Noble Bodhisattva Avilokiteshvara, also known as the worshipped Kuan Yin Bodhisattva conferring on him the blessings to attain the Vidya Tara, wisdom holders, levels of longevity and of Mahamudra respectively. Mahamudra is Sanskrit for the Great Seal and is the union of all apparent dualities where the mind becomes inseparable from wisdom. Secretly empowered further as the mighty Hayagriva, a horse-headed avatar of the Lord Vishnu, he had the ability to draw all the Mamo Dakinis or worldly devas and scornful demon spirits and bound them under his influence. From the worshipped Manjushri Bodhisattva, Venerable Nagarjuna, Buddha Koheya, Shanti Garba, and so forth. Guru Padma Sambhava eventually acquired the inner and outer teachings of the worshipped Manjushri Bodhisattva, the tenets of Vishuddha, the doctrines of Vajrakilya, the canon of the sacred great perfection, and many other teachings and mantras, including the subjugating mantras of the guardians of the Dharma and the maledictory fierce mantra. He became widely known under the name of Loden Choks. Here is some food for thought from the teachings of the venerated Guru Padma Sambhava. If you want to know your past life, look at your present condition. If you want to know your future life, look at your present actions. During his time on earth, Guru Padma Sambhava has had many adventures requiring him to perform miraculous feats. Records from various biographies state that on four or more occasions, Guru Padma Sambhava survived attempts to burn him at the stake. In the ancient land of Zohor, northwest Abodhgaya, the wealthy king Arsadhara built a lovely convent for his only child, Princess Mandrava, for her spiritual practice. 
the convent housed 500 nuns and one day Guru Padma Sambhava appeared in the sky in a magnificent rainbow light. At the nuns' request, he descended into the nunnery and began to teach, expounding the Dharma. He was found by the king's delegation, seated on a throne in the meditation hall surrounded by the 500 nuns, and was sentenced to death at the stake. Mandrava and the nuns were imprisoned. Despite the huge bonfire that was lit, Guru Padma Sambhava stood amidst the flames and transformed them into water. Soon, a lake formed around him. He sat in the center of this wondrous lake upon a beautiful lotus flower. The king could not believe his eyes and fell to the ground, prostrating before Guru Padma Sambhava, earnestly requesting his teachings. Mandrava and the nuns were released and Guru Padma Sambhava brought the entire Odiana kingdom to embrace the Buddha Dharma. By the same means, in another manifestation, he was again captured to be burnt by the violent king Ashoka, who Guru Padma Sambhava then converted into the most peaceful Buddhist king of his time. Touching on the five excelling traits of Guru Padma Sambhava, the Nirvana Sutra states, His peerless eminent form, his superior wrathful power, his surpassing realization, his unique benefit for beings to attain Buddhahood in one lifetime, and his unrivaled lifespan. All of these qualities will be superior to other emanations. This is because he is an emanation of Amitabha. The Vajra Guru Mantra, recited by Buddhas, Masters, Yidams, and Dakas and Dakinis across all spectrums, is ubiquitously engaged to invoke the very embodiment of Guru Padma Sambhava. Guru Padma Sambhava once said to his foremost disciple Yeshi Sogyo, the Vajra Guru Mantra is not just my single essence mantra. It is the very essence or life force of all the deities of the four classes of Tantra, of all the nine Yanas, and all of the 84,000 collections of Dharma teachings. The essence of all of the Buddhas of the three times, all of the Gurus, Yidams, Dakas, and Dakinis, Dharma protectors, etc. The essence of all of these is contained and is complete within this mantra. Guru Padma Sambhava consoled Princess Sogyal of Karchan before leaving for the land of the Rakshish. The non-created self-radiant wisdom being actionless, immaculate, and transcendent over acceptance and rejection is itself the perfect practice. A hundred things may be explained, a thousand told, but one thing only should you grasp. Know one thing and everything is freed. Remain within your inner nature, your awareness. Today, pilgrims and tourists from all over the world go to the Himalayan regions of India, Nepal, and Tibet to visit Guru Padma Sambhava's many sacred practice sites and caves where he meditated. Some still hold Guru Padma Sambhava's foot, hand, and body imprints. Such holy places include Paro Drakkar, Namso Chugmo, and Bumtang. The Halesi Maritika Caves in Nepal is where Guru Padma Sambhava, together with his consort Princess Mandrava, applied themselves intensely to the practice of the longevity sadhana of Amitayas. Graced and blessed with the empowerment directly from Amitayas, the Buddha of limitless life, they eventually attained immortality, which is the second level of Vidya Dhara, wisdom holders. Guru Padma Sambhava also received teachings from Buddha Amitayas personally. In the Yang Laisho and Asura caves at Farping in Kathmandu, Guru Padma Sambhava meditated on the Kagye deities of Yangdak Hevruka, enlightened mind, and Vajrakilya, enlightened actions, attaining the Mahamudra Vidya Dhara level in the Mahayoga Tantric path. Today, Vajrakilya meditation is practiced widely in various forms in most Tibetan Buddhist schools. Its benefits include the expulsion of outer, inner, and concealed obstructions. Venerated throughout the Himalayas, the world-famous Guru Padma Sambhava brought and established Vajrayana Buddhism across Tibet. By subduing the malevolent spirits hostile to Buddha Dharma across the country, 
He made possible the construction of the Samye temples, Tibet's first Buddhist monastery, and several irrigation projects there. His sacred Dharma teachings, concealed in secret locations and unveiled at opportune moments, continue to be revealed to the benefit of unborn generations even to this day. In a 2013 lecture, Supreme Master Ching Hai also mentioned Guru Padma Sambhava while reading a report about a temple. <笑>听说了 with deep reverence in our hearts, may we all be guided by Guru Padma Sambhava's wisdom and compassion, and may all beings soon adopt the spiritually beneficial vegan lifestyle. Enlightened viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company today. 